to welding engineering today i will explain to you about the terms and definition of welding specs of section 2 section 1 already explained that is what that was the duties and responsibility this is a section 2 so what is terms and definition so welding terminology and definition what terminology and definition we are we need to know for as a welding inspector what is weld? In all the very well, they localize collisions of metals or non-metal produced either by heating the metal to the welding temperature with or without the application of pressure or by application of pressure alone. Same, this is the well localized metals or non-metals produced either by heating, either by heating or is the non-pressure. Means heating, pressurized or non-pressurized without the application of pressure, with or without by the application of pressure alone a permanent as per b is four double nine what is the old uh, definition a permanent union between material caused by heat or pressure an autogenous well what is autogenous well a well made without the use of filler material and can only made by t and oxygas welding that is called autogenous well is joint if you if, if you are a holding inspector you have to remember like this way what is joint the junction of members or the edges of members junction of members or the edges of members that are to be joined if the end of the junction means that the end of the plate or end of something is joined with the plastic stage of it is metal state the edges of the member that to be joined have or have been joined that are to be joined or have been joined that is called joint Configuration member BS four double nine. You see now a configuration member BS double four BS four double nine. I will show you the so many joints. What is the call of joints? Particular every joint has this definition. Joint terminology edge. This is the edge. You see first one the edge joint. This is edge and the middle one. The edge will be joined here. This edge joint open closed. As I already discussed in the previous one, previous one of the episode, the open and close corner joint. This is the area is closed. This is closed and this is open. This is the lab joint. One plate is lap each other. This is the cruciform. You see the flash, like flash, cruciform joint. This is the T. One is perpendicular to the other. This is the bar joint. One is bar joint. You see welded bar joint. There is a welded bar joint. There is three types. O A is bar welded joint. Okay, you see single bevel bar welding joint. A fillet welded joint. There is a fillet. It's like T, and you have to do welded. This is a fillet welded joint. A compound weld joint means there is T joint, but there is a bevel in the T, and also after T, compound after T, you have to finish the weld. You have to need that two side holes. It's been compound compound holes, two or three welding together, two or three areas welding to be together. T joint, the affiliate welded T joint, a bar welded T joint means in the affiliate there is a bevel, so it is called bar welded T joint, and it's a compound welded T joint. You see compound of three areas it is mentioned, or how many areas he welded. 1, 2, and 3. So it is compound old T joint. Old terminology. Bartel, you see Bartel, it's called Bartel, the first one, the single weld, this is a fillet weld, this is a spot weld, this is the edge weld, this is the plug weld, and the compound weld. So we have to remind that all these weld, what is the terminology, how it is looking like, what is the definition, what is the joint structure. So you need to know. But preparation side. So you see here, this is a single bevel part joint. This is you see the root area, which is completely not penetrated. Means this is the partial penetration part weld. This is not the full penetration. The penetration is not done. You see the penetration is not done fully. So it is the partial penetration part weld. 
so if you do the partial penetration but also the actual throat, throat thickness you see here mentioned in the actual throat thickness is different from the top of the toe to root this is the actual of the throat thickness the design throat thickness only the plate from the root to the plate thickness this is design throat the full penetration part will you see the from root bottom side to toe with the actual throat thickness and the design throat thickness this is this is mentioned partial penetration bottle and the full penetration bottle so old zone terminology so in old after finish what is the zone what called zone you see here a b c d this is called well toes a b t c and d and this is the face this is the oil metal this is the heat affected zone it is the near near the line of the uh, fusion this is heat affected zone and the oil boundary oil boundary means up to which position it is welded this is the oil boundary this is the old zone terminology well to terminology you have to mention what is the excess gap height and weld reinforcement and design throat thickness excessive root penetration what are the excessive root penetration all this is mentioned here heat affected zone you see heat affected zone maximum temperature this is a solid old metal is mentioned here the heat affected zone how it is your material has to be changed in which area what is the call of which area this is the solid weld metal first is solid weld metal second is the solid liquid boundary this is solid liquid boundary this is a grain growth type grain growth zone this is the recrystallization recrystallized zone partially transformed zone tempered zone and unaffected base material so these are one two three four five five stages there where the material has changed in the different condition joint preparation terminology included angle you see the angle of bevel this is called included angle the full angle the angle of bevel with the single angle angle of bevel with the road gap and road this is called single b-bot single u ah, u but you see the single u this is lo looking like u so this is single u but here one concern is the root radius you need to check the root radius included angle this is the full angle it's called included angle joint preparation terminology angle of bevel this is the single bevel and single bevel part that one the double bevel part this is a single bevel part but angle of bevel this is single j part it's a j joint means it's one side there was before it was a u joint so but if there is one side this is that's why it's a single j part single sided part preparation single sided Preparation are normally made on thinner material or when access from both sides are restricted. And yes, if it is thinner material, only the single people, single B, single J, single U. And if there is a restriction, we cannot do that area. That's why we can make that time the single. Double side what preparation? Double side preparation are normally made in thicker material, more than maybe 25. Then they are back gouging the thicker or when access from both sides are restricted we can we can do in any any side any there is no restriction we can do the process in the first side old preparation terminology and typical dimension v joints this is the bevel angle included angle this is the bevel angle one side and the included angle is the full angle root gap root fit Typical dimension is in for you have to always mention 30 to 35 degree is the normal root phase is 15 to 25 1.5 to 2.5 m root gap 2 to 4 m. This is the normal practice. So you need you need to remember that. But well, the T blind poor well to toe blind angle. This is the improved well to blind angle. What is the difference of poor blind and improved well? You see here. Most cores quit the oil to cell blend smoothly. The blend smoothly, you see, the above face area is blended smoothly. 
this statement is not quantitative and therefore open to individual interpretation. The higher the two blind angle, the greater the amount of stitch concentration. If there is a two, if the there are two blind, if it is more higher, then there is a stitch contention will be more. Maybe if there is a pressure will come, maybe maybe crack will come. So you should be check the two blind. It should not be higher. Means the throat thickness throat it should not be higher. It should be as per the 3 mm, it's okay from the parent material to throat height. It's it is 2 mm to 3 mm is okay, but if more than 3 mm, then it will be considered as a if it is considered as a stress concent concentration. And the two blend angle ideally should be between 20 to 30 degree. 20 to 30 degree, you have to always two blend. We need to check the 22 to 30 degree, it should not be more than 20 to 30 degree. Fillet will future. This is a vertical leg length. This is the horizontal leg length. This is this design throat, and this is the excessive metal matter. Fillet will throat thickness. A is design throat thickness. B is the actual throat thickness. Deep penetration fillet will future. A is if it this is the normal fillet penetration there is no fillet penetration inside and you see here is the deep penetration the they say have to go up to the root from e a is in design throat thickness and b is the actual throat thickness fillet will size how to calculate the throat thickness from a known length if the leg length you know then you can check the throat thickness question is the leg length is 14 mm then what is the design throat 14 mm into 0 0.07 is 10 mm third thickness so we have to check it should be 10 mm third thickness maybe 10 11 mm or something like that. it should not be below below than 10. calculating leg length from a known design third thickness same leg length equal to design third thickness into 1.4 the design throat is 10 mm what is the leg length 10 into 1.4 is 14 mm is the leg length this is the calculation of leg length and throat thickness. Future to consider two importance of fillet weight leg length size approximately the same weight volume in both fillet weight, but the effective throat thickness has been altered, reducing considerably the strength of weld B. You see, weld B this is the strength because there is one size is fillet. Length is leg length is 2 mm, one side is 8 mm. But you see, this is the four from E is 4 mm, 4 mm is both sides. So, this leg length because the throat you cannot achieve in B throat you cannot achieve the uh, the good throat thickness, but in here in E you can achieve the actual throat thickness. And everywhere, if you go in the industry, the fillet leg length you will check in the both sides is. It should be shame. Fillet wall size important of fillet wall leg length size. Importance. What is the importance? Area 4 into 4, 80 square by 2. Okay, area 6 into 6, 18 mm square by 2. This CSA of B is over double the over double the area of A without the extra excess old metal length you see here area 4 into 4 e and 6 m 6 to into 6 so this is the excess old metal fillet oil profile fillet oil shape this is the meter oil this is the concave oil this is a convex oil three types of fillet is there meter oil is a very straight this is straight there will not be any convex and convex. You see concave, this is the U type, and this is the convex is the V type. The in concave profile is preferred for joints subjected to fatigue loading. What is fatigue loading is there? This concave profile is preferred always. Effective throat thickness. A is the normal throat thickness, here is mentioned A, normal throat thickness, and S is the effective throat thickness. Deep penetration fillet weld from high heat input welding process may affect the down. 
FRAP active third thickness will be applicable only MAG FRAP, CAW and SAW, where, where the deep penetration plate will applicable. Holding position PA, PB, PC, PD, PE, UC, can see of this action line. PA is 1G1 is with a flat downward downhand 2F horizontal vertical, 2G horizontal, 4F means horizontal vertical position, 4G is over it. 3G, 5G the vertical and up, 3G, 5G vertical down, 6G incline 5 upward, 6G incline 5 downwards. You can see the next the holding position is the flat, this is the horizontal vertical, the horizontal vertical, horizontal, thus we have one diagram make, one diagram where then we define the area. You see here flat, this is on G, this is over root. 4G. This is vertical 3G. Is uphill and the downhill is the horizontal 2G. This is flat PA. This is the axis horizontal 5 rotate. This is 1G vertical up PA axis horizontal 5 fixed. This is 5G vertical down PG axis horizontal fixed. This is 5G HL405 axis incline 45 degree. This is 6G HL45 axis incline 45 degree. This is also 6G horizontal vertical. This is fixed. Fillet will some plate ISO 6947 flat horizontal over it vertical up vertical down. We can you can see the very it's very clear image how to check what is the position of flat what is the horizontal what is over it clear towards on pipe you see live flat or incline at 45 degree horizontal vertical axis vertical pipe fixed pipe fixed over it axis vertical pipe fixed axis horizontal pipe rotated this pipe is rotated vertical up axis horizontal pipe fixed Axis horizontal pipe fixed vertical down. Plate fillet will position 1G, 1F, 3G, 2F, 2G, 4F, 4G, and 3G. You can easily understand 1G is the flat condition, 1F is the fillet, flat plate condition, 3G is the vertical condition, 2F is the horizontal condition, 2G is the horizontal condition. Four F, four G, three G. Five holding position is mentioned very clearly. One G, five G, and six G. Two G. Then six G. All are five, five G. All are one G. All are uh, this is the five. One G, five G, and six G. It's angle is mentioned here, and the weld vertical upwards or flat, vertical downwards. Every position has changed. So as as per that basis, they make the different view travel speed measurement definition the rate of weld progression the rate of weld progression means how much weld what is the rate of weld progression how much will he is doing maybe in one minute or um, 30 minutes so they they will measure the, the rate of weld progression measure in case of mechanized and automatic weld process in case of MMW can be determined using ROL and arc time. You see here, run out length for one electrode using stringer bead. In stringer bead, one, one electrode from here to how much distance you can do the welding. The rate of weld progression, that is called rate of weld progression. It is for stringer bead, this is the for filler metal. This is the weather we run out the length of the or electrode using weave, this is the weaving bit. So this is today uh, section 2, we have finished, this is welding terminology, it's very good, every picture is very clear, you can understand clearly what is position, what is the terminology definition, what is the fillet size and length and what is the acceptable criteria of the fillet size 
how we can accept the fillet, how we calculate the fillet size, what is the deep penetration, how fillet will two types of penetration is there. So all these things we have learned in this in this session. So next session I will go the imperfection. This is the very important session. So any question just you just comment there at the end of the, uh, the comment box on the YouTube. Thanks a lot again for watching this video.